All right, hello again, Internet. As promised, Beyond the Door is the next episode of Let's Drink to Amnesia Machine for Pigs. Tim and Emma are here. Hello. Hi. And I have poured myself another Godfather, one of my favorite drinks. What's in it, Phil? Uh, generally two parts mixing scotch to uh, one part amaretto. That sounds good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's usually better if you happen to have a cigar with you. Yes, my friend. But uh, I do not at the moment, which is unfortunate. Freed from the prison of the flesh. Free to ascend as smoke to the stars. And the good. The word. How will we save them? Show me these worthy Mandus. Show me these good. I do not see them. He does have a point. All we've seen is huh? pigs. <laughs> and dead bodies. Yeah. Counterattack. I am an angel of vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> is that your battle cry? That is my battle cry. That's the only thing I can think of right now. It's <laughs> one of the battle cries. Oh like no, it's a saboteur! <laughs> uh, to bed, to bed. Uh, the extermination of the rich. Ouch, ouch, we each. Uh, can I push any of these buttons? No. Eh, you're not done. I'm not done? Stop the machine. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. Good old chemical X. Chunky. Uh, does this mean it's going to start flooding again? Hey, did you guys ever play Limbo? I have not. A good friend of mine has told me I absolutely need to play it. I own it, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Huh. Have you? Well, yeah, yeah, I have. Music. I was gonna. I enjoyed it. I mean, it's kind of a tough game at certain spots with the puzzle, puzzliness, but. Puzzliness. Is that a new word? Well, yeah. Also, now that I know you haven't played it, I don't want to mess it up for you. Fair enough. Don't. Have you played Night of the White Rabbit? I have not. Extremely highly recommended. What is that on? Steam. Steam? Oh, oh I got it on. Uh, it's on Steam, too. All the weathers. Break yeah, all yeah, the things. <laughs> Turn these three and ruin the spark plug.
All right. I think I broke oh. it. I yeah. know you, machine. I know what you fear. I will rain excrement into your very soul. <laughs> I will destroy you. <laughs> I love that part. I will rain excrement down. into your very soul. Is this guy a software engineer? Does he work IT support? I, I think that finally trumps um, Duke Nukem's I'm gonna rip off your head and shit down your neck. <laughs> Because you you can't beat shitting into someone's soul. <laughs> I just love the fact that he addressed his machine. I will shit in your soul, machine. I'm pretty sure I've said that. I'm trying to debug code. Awesome. <laughs> I am here again, at the foot of those stairs, towards the red light of the nursery. Sunset in the window like a bleeding sky. The horizon a slit throat. The seeping dark to drain the guilt from us. I am the jaguar-faced man. I am the feathered serpent. This priesthood is mine. I can meet him, your great engineer. How marvelous. I must say, Mr. Manders, my excitement is almost unseemly. Yes, I can see that. Step this way, Professor. I will be right behind you. Mandis. Mandis, where the devil are you? I can't see a damn thing. Mandis! We are the pig, Professor. We are all the pig. How did I end up here? Yeah. This is where the game starts to get even more fucked up. Climb in stillness now. More, more new fucked water up. Runs in my veins. Yeah, it's already fucked up. Now just it reaches a new height with the uh, this factory, the bowl times when you go, where the fuck did I go? I am Are there aliens, Tim? Are there aliens? I will no. No. Into the white okay. clouds. Th this room is pretty uh, messed up. And I will take you home. I am slowly sprinting down the river of blood. Into... A lake of blood. With an elevator in the middle of it. And two dead corpses. <sighs> one without a like... pelvis. <laughs> wow. Or most of his stomach, too. Yeah, those are pretty much torsos. I feel like this should have been a Doom level. <laughs> like, if, if they tried to make this level in Doom, they just didn't quite have the graphics for it. <laughs> I think they were... I think they were doing good with the graphics in Doom. I think the problem was that they just didn't have as many good ideas left over for the actual scariness. <laughs> so, let's give you a flashlight that you can only use when you're not using your guns. And we're gonna make all the levels dark. That makes sense. You know, I gotta say, you I still haven't... You can't actually see what you're shooting at. I still haven't actually played Doom 3. Really? Really. I built he my first madness. PC to play Doom 3. Like, I looked at really? the recommended and I made, I made sure that I went over spec on Doom 3 because... At the time that I got into PC building, that was the that was that was the benchmark. That was the most intensive uh, game that you could get. So I made sure that every single thing that I put in my first computer beat the uh, the, the the recommended requirements for Doom Three. And then I never bothered playing it <laughs> because. I spent all my money on the computer, and I didn't have a lot because I was working at CompUSA at the time. Oh yeah, good old CompUSA. Or CompUSSR. <laughs> I, I paid my dues there. One of my- you worked at CompUSA too? Yeah. Oh, nice! 
We should trade stories sometimes. I think my fondest memory was I was stuck working St. Patrick's Day night once. And there was a guy who, uh, who tipped me with a can of beer. <laughs> my fondest memory is sleeping with the warehouse manager. Okay. <laughs> Like <laughs> I was just awkward silence. Our warehouse manager was a Swedish guy. Do you feel any better, Tim? <laughs> yes. That I do. Yeah. This guy came in. It was St. Patrick's Day. It was about an hour before closing on on the night of St. Patrick's Day. And this guy came in with a flyer and said, You have something that's on sale, and I want to buy it. Impressive. And we were like, well, what do, you, what do you want? What do you need? I mean, we have a lot of items that are on sale. And he's like, I don't care. Just just get something. <laughs> find, a product on, find something on your shelves that's on sale in this flyer and sell it to me. I would like to buy it. Wow. I think I wound up selling him a hard drive enclosure. Alrighty. Useful for hard drives or door stops. Yeah. Multi purpose. So not only are you getting a sale on it, it's got more than one use. Oh, yeah. You're saving even more. Soundtrack is getting to me. This is oh. gonna be a shocker. <laughs> Are these all batteries? These look like capacitors. Is that thing? It's a shocky pig. I, I told you the shocky pig. You just did. Oh. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling that was supposed to be a little bit more intense. You're just Uber. Yeah, man, that's just some L MLG shit right there. MLG! You pro now, boy. Word. Wording scheme! <laughs> oh, amongst the spirits. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> the Aztecs believed... Wow, they're just making a cultural hodgepodge out of this, aren't they? Yeah, it's kind of like uh, anime. Yeah, just throw shit at the wall until you see what sticks, huh? Only to save you. Only to spare you. I would have given my soul to spare you this world and its loan. Nine, two, oh, my children, my children, what have I done? What have I become? I really kind of like this level design, but I just don't care about this dude's kids. I will put it right, my darlings. All of my wrongs will be righted. All of my sins washed clean.
Memories, they surface like loaded bodies rising to the scum of the Thames. More pig metaphors. Uh, great love, souls, eggs. Okay. So yeah, at this point you're supposed to realize I am sorry. The other I voice is like his uh multiple personality disorder. Too much this Which other voice? The machine? Yeah, that that dude who talks to you over the phone, that's you. Oh, oh. Huh. Sort of like fight club like. Except no awesome fight scenes. Or making of bombs out of fat crusade. And <laughs> let me save them. You may hate me, Mandus, but I have seen the future, your 20th century, and let me tell you this, a far greater slaughter awaits you there. I seek to save the world by blood now, before millions fall beneath history, pushed under by blade. Yeah. Okay. Navigate fast. You're good now. Isn't that what fucked the, up? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I just... I don't understand anymore. Yeah. Welcome to the second amnesia. That's a man just has had a little bit uh too much of the Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid X. <laughs> <laughs> right. Those aren't manipulable. Can I grab the heart? Nope, not yet. But then again, you're not actually supposed to grab it. Hint, there is a second level. I was expecting something to happen because I'm still in lag time. One inside here. Second level up or down. Go up, go! Nope. Alright, not Spider-Man. Just something that needs to be checked in every game, just in case. Aha! Good job. Ash, mother would like to talk to you.
Alright. Enoch and Edwin are my two sons. And Oswald, I don't recall hearing anything since he was the creepy guy who spied on my wife in the shower. Is Oswald my penis? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe man just named it. Save the world. I am your friend. Or is that him? Why is that attached to his crush? Humanity, ridding them of their painful, stupid, pointless lives. Mandus, stop. Think about what you are doing. For your children, Mandus. Do not speak of my children, monster. I did not kill your children, Mandus. You sacrificed them on the temple steps, knowing what the kind of century would do to them. Your sons will drown, lungs full of mud and shrapnel on the banks of the Somme. You wanted to save them from the war to come. That is the vision we shared. Everything we have built to avert this coming nightmare. You and I are one. We are the same. Our souls are entangled. We deserve to make them free. Wow. <laughs> this is such a freaking reference hodgepodge. We just went from like Aztecs and temples, the Psalm, which is what, World War One. I? I built a temple. Pretty much. Okay! I have stood knee-deep in mud and bone and filled my lungs with mustard gas. I have seen two brothers fall. I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal fallout. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into faith. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent, the innocent Mandus trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the Mandus. They will make pigs of you all and they will bury their scalps into your ribs, and they will eat your hearts. Mm. Please, Manda Snow, for your children. Handlebars grab onto something. I guess this is what we're doing.
I lay there and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man pig singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. A church bell ringing out, and in that moment, the new century was born. Pretty fucked up, huh? Yeah, yeah, that was strange. Yeah, the first game had a lot more jump scares and creepy shit. This game was just a lot more mentally fucked up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really don't understand how to react to this song being in the credits. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, like, normally when we do this, we have, you know, discussion over credits, but I just, I don't know how to react to this. I think the appropriate way to react is to say, wow, that was fucked up, and leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, well, that was pretty fu- oh, hey, Mark Beer. I support Mark Beer. <laughs> That was... okay. Yeah, that was nuts. Now that was worth it. I wasn't sure, like, I wasn't sold on it while I was playing, but... I think that was worth it. Yeah. Leon Trotsky is in the crowd. No, I'm not sure Rachel will like it nearly as much as she liked the first one. It's it's not nearly as scary. It's just kind of fucked. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know, man. It, you know, it's like a lot of stuff happens and you sit at the end of the credits and you're like, okay, well, okay, why? What did that mean? It seemed like it, it hit a lot of stuff. I wonder if there's a commentary mode.
Well, anyway. <laughs> and that was amnesia for pigs. Yeah. I got no I got nothing. I'm gonna have to think about that one for a little while. <laughs> yeah. That was that was that was fucking weird. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you, internet and and YouTube and etc. for uh, for hanging out with us while we play through the sequel to Amnesia. Will we figure out what exactly a machine for pigs does? And you know what? I have no idea. Takes over the world! Yeah, I guess so. I have no idea. Anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, well, okay. Anyway, that was fun. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you, uh, Tim and Emma, for, for riffing and playing the game with me. Uh, yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.